Hi, how are ya? It's Travis in here, and welcome back to our adventures in the Season of Discovery. Last episode, we completed the dungeon Razorfen Crawl, and we got ourselves a new neck piece, guys. Five intellect, four spirit. Not bad, pretty good. And today we are in South Shore, and we are going to do a quest here for Lieutenant Farron Ornell. Transferred Ornell. from the Stormwind City Guard to South Shore, a town that should be abandoned by the looks of it. Smell of the harbor day and night. Not to mention old Redpath wants me to take care of the murlocs. Ha! I can barely rouse myself to go out to some of the pockets of the overgrown fish down the western strand. If you would go in my place and take care of them, I'd appreciate it. Ah, yes, I remember Milton. A bookworm, no doubt. Bless him, and he's right. The ruins of Alterac still hold stores of knowledge in danger of being lost. Ogres now dwell in Alterac, and they don't care much for higher learning. Those beastly ogres now reside within Alterac's ruins, and I shudder to think what they're doing with the precious books still there. You must recover what you can, enter the ruins of Alterac, and search for tomes looted by the ogres. Get whatever you can find and bring them to me, but also seek out one book in particular, The Arm of Time Greed. for a nap. It contains ancient troll lore that I must learn, and the ruins of Alterac was the last known location of an intact copy of this book. Looks like somebody might be there farming these murlocs. All right, so the ruins of the Alterac, that's going to be way too tough of a quest for us to do right now. It's 38 plus. So I think what we'll do today is we'll slay these murlocs and then we'll make our way to the Arathi Highlands. And there's a first aid trainer there that will actually upgrade our first aid to the next level. And I want to get that so we can start crafting more silk bandages. Now, I don't know if you guys remember from this sleeping bag, we do get a buff. Hopefully this Murloc doesn't attack us. It does take a while to get the buff, though. Interested. This, there we go. So we just got the buff. We got 1%. It stacks three times. I'm not too sure how long it takes, but I was interested to check it out this episode. Oh, okay, we got attacked. I guess that's the end of that. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys are doing well today. Doing pretty good. It was fun doing, you know, Black Fathom Deeps and RFK. We will be in... See, uh, Scarlet Monastery next. That is the plan. I was thinking about getting all the quests for it, but one of them is... I don't think we can pick up yet, but we have Mythology of the Titans right now. And I believe you get this from... the library. If I'm not mistaken. SM Library. Should I even get the next 2% of Well Rested? for the extra XP. I don't even know if it's really worth it, to be honest. It shouldn't take this long to stack the buff. Yeah, we'll just keep going, guys. I thought it would be a little bit faster than that. But supposedly they're going to be adding new rewards if you have revered with the waylaid supply great faction so I'm looking forward to that right, so we got two attacking us here we'll try to run away from the other one hope these there we go so attacking them oh, we've got a horde over here it's going to attack me Use this, and we'll run back to South Shore. Oh, he's dispelling us. Are you kidding me? This guy's level 40. Get him. Get him. Well, we lost our buffs, guys, because of that dirty torrent. I don't know where... The, how the heck did he even get there? Without pulling any guards. 
And he just smacked us at the end. We were pretty high health. Hit us for 516. Physical crit. He got a crit on us. No wonder. But this is what happens when you're in, you know, Hillsbred. You're going to get ganked by the horde. It's just the way it is. He'll probably be back and gank us again. Hopefully we can get a kill on this Murloc. Good thing, too, is that the spirit trainer is close to us. It really sucks we lost the two buffs, though, that we had. I'm a little bit pissed off about that, but whatever. It's like the guy was like a, had a hit on me or something. <laughs> I used uh, Desperate Prayer. Shielded myself. I guess I could have put a hot on myself. But yeah, I won't be surprised if he comes back and ganks us once again. Maybe I should have ran to like the the alliance over here. Copper mine right up here. What's being used? The heck? Are our, our bags full? It's already being used. This game's really bugging out today. Yeah, I think we're lagging again. What the heck is going on? There we go. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> this is me just trying to help them out here. Hopefully they don't all attack me. Some are. Oh man, we're in trouble. We're gonna have to run. I doubt this guy. Like it. I can't? No. Oh, they're all attacking my my monkey eye. I wonder if you can do this. Just bring them here and then they just get wrecked. I don't think we'll get any credit for that, though. Yeah, you don't. I'd be kind of OP if you could do that. Really sucks that we got ganked. <laughs> I haven't been ganked like that in a long time. But it happens. I have a feeling like I won't be able to bring the buffs to FSM unless I, you know, put them in the combobulator or whatever it's called. The stuff that stores your buffs so if you die, you don't lose them.
I wonder where that, war where that guy went. I think it was a Tauran warrior. Didn't seem to come back after that. got five more after this. Five more tight hunters, five more locals. I think that's it, right? And then we'll make our way to the Arathi Highlands. We'll probably get ganked on our way there. Just hoping we could have the buff buffs for that. This guy's asking me if I want to group up. Yeah, sure. Let's do it, man. He's got the uh, spark of inspiration. Nice. Let's see what he can do. He can do a lot more damage than me, that's for sure. Left. I just started. We'll help him finish it. Hunter's a great class, man. Just mowing all these Murlocs down. Takes us so long to actually, like, slay a mob. You all right damage, but Hunter clearly does a little bit more. Right, I'm gonna have a quick drink here. I wonder what his pet's name is. Speedy. Speedy the boar. Hatchery and Speedy. I wonder if it tells you what ruins they have. Yeah, sniper training, chimera shot, and he has heart of the lion. We have heart of the lion right now. It's pretty much stats or mark of the wild, I would say, right? Maybe not. I think it's like a little bit different than that. I think mark of the wild gives you armor, right? And also stats. Keeping up with him in damage. Oh, he's actually pulling quite a bit of stuff. See, he just, just pulls ahead <laughs> by quite a bit. Does he need oracles? Yeah. Just need one more oracle. Might as well attack this guy. And then we'll just help Atri finish this quest up. We got two oracles over here.
Happy we met this hunter. Let's have a little bit of a drink. I don't know which way he went. Is he behind us? I think he's having a drink as well. Does he need any oracles? Yeah. Now, I think we would be doing, like, a lot more damage than him if they didn't nerf Shadow or Death. Well, I don't know about a lot, but I, we would be probably doing more if we could just spam Shadow or Death. And it was doing, like, 400 damage every time you used it. Like 350 to 400. We are also specced into healing, so... That makes a difference as well. If you're specting the shadow, we wouldn't be losing mana. Because we'd have spirit tap filled up. Probably be doing a little bit more damage. Proved mind blast would help a lot too. Alright, so let's see what he needs here. He needs one more of these. And then he needs two more oracles. Oh, did he pull those guys? Which one did he pull? Didn't pull him, so I'll get that one. And it looks like he got this one. So we got two oracles, so that's good. We'll take that. Brilliant. Give this guy a buff or a rebuff. All right, back to South Shore we go. We're going to turn this quest in. So we'll kill him. so ch like <laughs> silly that you can take damage while in fear you're <laughs> such an OP crowd control I think psychic screams just like that I don't know did, damage caused may interrupt the effect but I don't know it didn't really interrupt it there this is just a, a chance It's another cool thing about hunters. They have aspect of the cheetah. 30% increased movement speed. Great for questing. Priests, on the other hand, I don't think they're that great for questing. I think priests are more of a dungeon spamming class, to be honest. They do really well in dungeons. All right, so let's turn these in. Are you doing other quests here? I hope this will be enough to convince Red Path that I've ha, been carrying out so his we'll orders and ridding South Shore of the terrible um, and horrible menace of the dreaded Murlocs, for there could be no greater evil than the ravages of overgrown fish. Would you believe it, adventurer? Red Path wasn't satisfied with all the Murlocs we killed. Oh, now don't be modest. You had some hand in it. Now he wants me to bring proof of the dead, hacking off cold, slimy... I think a lot of these quests are kind of too high for us. Approval. Soothing Turtle Bisque we could do. And I think Soothing Turtle Bisque isn't really a group quest. Because, you know, you gotta pick up turtle meat, and we can't really share that. Alright, so now it's time for us to head over to the Arathi Highlands, guys. And we are gonna purchase some books. Got a lot of sh clam shells here. Maybe we'll get lucky and get a golden pearl. Nope, not today. We got a decent amount of XP there. 
a couple bars away from level 32. We should be good to do SM Graveyard and Library. Maybe that's what we'll do next, guys. We'll do some SM. We'll just do like Graveyard and Library then back to Graveyard. See how fast we can go. And then once we get to probably level 35... We will probably do a little bit of armory and cathedral, and then once we get sick of SM, we'll, we'll go to Razor Fen Dance. Maybe Old Amon as well. We also have Black Fathom Deeps that we could do again. That's two guys. Let's check a raid here. Yeah, 11 hours. So tomorrow we could actually do a Black Fathom Deep. So maybe I'll do that again. It would be good to try to get as much loot as we can so we can be prepared for, you know, PFD. Be really, I, I really want to get the trinket, but that'll be a tough roll because, like, everybody rolls on it. Yeah, maybe we'll do that tomorrow. Or soon. Maybe the next day after. We'll see. I like the BFD run. We do have a couple quests that we still need to finish in there. We have these brain stems. I need like another eight of these. Like six of these. And there was another quest I forgot to pick up. I'll make sure we pick that up. And I also need to turn in uh, the Strange Water Gobe for the Baron Aquinas quest. Cool thing is when you turn that in, you get a t teleport to the Black Fathom Deeps Raid. So you don't have to, you know, travel down there. Just have to go to Aberdeen. All right, here we are in the Arathi Highlands, guys. Seems like we're lagging a bit. I hope we're like... It's been a weird day. For lag. I can't see like our our bar. See right behind this. We're probably lagging hardcore here. But right behind this question mark. There's a... Uh, okay, good. It worked. <laughs> yeah, right behind this question mark. There's our latency bar. If I removed um, uh, bartender, then we could probably see it. Because for some reason, our internet is, I don't know, we're just getting like a lot of leg spikes recently. Not too, too sure why. This guy just spawned here. He's trying to blink away from me. Let's thought him up. I wonder if we can kill him with that dot. It's going to do a lot of damage. Oh, he's blinking away. If we had our buff, we could chase him and kill him. Would have been nice to get a little bit of revenge on the horde for taking our buffs. Maybe we'll see some in here. Yeah, I don't think we really need buffs for SM. They help. But they might not be necessary for us to get. And I wonder if the dungeons are harder. They might be. Because supposedly they made all of the, the mobs a little bit more challenging in Season of Discovery because, you know, our classes are, are much stronger with these new abilities. 
Right, here we are in Stromgard, guys. Got a chest over here. Can we open it? Maybe we could, but maybe we're lagging. No, we're not. What can I do? For I hope you? we can talk to the to the vendor. <laughs> There we go. All right, so he's got some books, guys. Expert first aid, um, heavy silk bandage, and heavy mage weed bandage. All great books. And we will learn them here. So let's learn expert first aid under wraps. This will bring our first aid up to 225. Now, I think we... Maybe we have enough silk cloth to actually get heavy silk bandage. I have been saving it all so we could do that. And there we go, guys. There he is, the Neb Walker. He's the one that gets your first aid upgraded. It's a pretty cool spot they got over here. It's a cathedral inside. Prince Gale and Trollbane. This guy's pretty strong. Tough to kill. Be cool if he was like somebody you had to kill to get a ruin as a horde player. All right, guys. Well, there we go. I think I'm gonna hearth out of here, and we're gonna head over to the Deepwater Tavern in Menethil Harbor. And next episode, the plan is to do uh, Scarlet Monastery, guys. We'll see how that goes. Hopefully we have some fun runs in Graveyard and Library. But as always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later. Later.